New $900 social security checks coming tomorrow. I'll let you know who is going to get those checks. And Congressman is pushing for increased social security benefits. I'll let you know what he's saying about that. And there is a huge change coming to social security that is going to affect millions of beneficiaries. I'll let you know what that change is and give you some other important updates as well. Before I dive into the main content, if you appreciate these social security updates, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more social security updates. So Social Security direct deposit of up to $943 goes out this week. Who is getting it? It is Social Security Disability as well as SSI coming tomorrow. Uh, August 1st. So August 1st came really quick. So SSI payments are uh, often made on the first of the month. So August 20, August of this year is no different. So recipients are going to receive the first monthly deposit on the 1st of August, Thursday, which comes tomorrow. So in terms of payments, how much, who's getting it. So it looks like individuals receiving the maximum SSI amount will receive $943. Uh, and then $1,400 for couples. And then the average SSI payment made per month is $698. So those are the checks, but you're gonna get the same exact check as you got the previous month. Then also, big, uh, big announcement here, our uh, Valley Congressman Jim Costa pushing for more Social Security benefits. So Valley Congressman Jim Costa, Jim Costa is pushing for increased and expanded Social Security benefits. On Monday, he hosted a telephone town hall focusing on the future program, and Congressman John Larson opened the forum talking about the Social Security 2100 Act. His proposal would include a 2% increase for all Social Security beneficiaries and remove penalties impacting public servants. So yeah, they're for the Social Security 2100 Act. Spoken about that a few different times. Uh, it's got the 2% increase for everybody across the board, as well as a few other benefits. It would change the COLA from the CPIW, which it is now to the CPIE, so there'd be a higher COLA every year, as well as I think 14 other benefits to Social Security, uh, as well as uh, expand the, um, uh, the solvency of it as well, saying that this legislation is overwhelmingly popular by the American public for good reason, it's common sense. So pushing for social security with that, and Social Security Administration makes change that will impact millions of beneficiaries, Changing are com changes are coming uh, on how you can access social security online services. Take a look at this video explaining more. Sticking with retirement, if you plan to claim Social Security, you're going to want to listen in to this. Uh, changes are coming to the Social Security website that could impact millions of beneficiaries. Yahoo Finance's very own Carrie Hannon is here to break it down. Carrie, great to speak with you again today. So talk to me about these, these changes. What exactly are they and who could it impact? Uh, yeah, hi. Good morning, Madison. So good to see you. Uh, this is a big deal uh, in many ways because millions of people are going to be impacted and it's about the Social Security website. What this means is how you how you access your retirement uh, in your Social Security account, what the benefits are, and everyone needs to have access to it. And what it is, is it's switching you over. You go to the Social Security website, ssa.gov, and they want to shift you over to create a login.gov account. This is a shift in how you're going to access this information. And what you set up is, they call it, and, and it's a wonderful account, is My Social Security Account. This account is personalized for you. It tells you, you know, what your benefits are if you're already getting Social Security. It tells you, you know, you can monitor your account there. It tells you um, all the different elements of it that helps you make this decision about when to take Social Security. So the change is if you've opened an account before September 18th, 2021 is kind of the key date. You need to go back in and redo your account. If you've never opened one of these accounts, this is the time to do it. And Madison, what I really love about these My Social Security accounts and having this online access is it gives people information they need to decide when to start taking Social Security. It clearly lays out a chart for you that's personalized to your information of when you're going to get the most benefit. 
And what happens is most people uh, start their benefits at 62. For, well, I shouldn't say most, about 40% of people do. And, and that is the earliest time you can start getting your, drawing down your benefit from Social Security. But if you can wait to your full retirement age, uh, which right now is roughly, you know, 67 if you were born in, say, 1960, and um, you're full uh, up till age 70, you can get the, you know, it keeps increasing 8% a year from your full retirement age to till age 70. And it's really can come to, you know, as much as over $1,000 a month. This is not chump change. So I think it's really important that people monitor these, have access to their own numbers, and it really helps you get a, get a feel for what this means to you. So I, I encourage people, but this change is coming and Social Security is pushing the word out there uh, to get people to change over to this new web portal. Is this change going to affect you? Have you made this online change uh, yourself? Let us know down in the comments below. And that is all the news that I have for you today to hopefully cheer you up a bit. Here's my daughter Bella's tip of the day. Oh, hi guys, I didn't see you there. Uh, guys, can, can I tell you tip of the day because I'm, you know, I'm still in South Carolina. <laughs> I know it looks like in a different place, but let's get over it. Can I tell you the thing that you should really, really actually do when someone's hurt? Or yeah. you're hurt? You, you should like really do something really good and help them out. Because that they're hurt. You can't let a person hurt. Stay there. I know you guys would do such a great thing, even better than that. Like help them up or something. And you can too. So that's all I wanted to, that's all the advice that I wanted to give to you today. And also, this is my sister Kalaya. Speaking of change, if you want to see the the new social security ch uh, changes coming in less than six months, you're going to want to click this video right over here as it will go over the latest social security changes that are definitely happening in less than six months. So click that video now and I'll see you in that video. Take care, be safe. Thank you for watching.